fun and games are over for the Indian online real money gaming sector. Many believe the sun is setting on the industry even before it could rise. Having acted against crypto players in India, authorities are now targeting online the gaming sector. About 2 weeks ago, Dream11, one of the successful gaming startups valued at 8 billion dollars, was slapped with a show cause notice of around 18000 crore rupees by GST authorities claiming unpaid dues. Sources say this includes a tax demand of 6000 crore and nearly 12000 crore rupees in interest in penalty. Report says authorities are claiming taxes of 217 crore rupees against revenues of 228 crore in fiscal year 18 and taxes of 1006 crore rupees against revenue of 802 crore a year later. The company has approached Bombay High Court challenging the notices. Other companies issued notices include Gamescraft which was asked to pay an additional 21000 crore rupees and Games 247 which has been asked to shell out 20000 crore rupees. Report says another company Head Digital Works has received a tax notice of 5000 crore rupees. According to legal experts, the authorities are filing retrospective claims based on the center's new 28% GST on gaming which comes into effect on the 1st of October. To many, the retrospective tax is reminiscent of the 19000 crore rupee tax claim on Vodafone which ultimately fell through. Tax experts believe that while recent GST amendments have clarified the tax position for online gaming going forward, the past position continues to be a matter of litigation. Online gaming companies are also waiting for the meeting of the Goods and Services Tax Council on the 7th of October to see if there will be any clarity for the basis of tax notices and future action by tax officials. While a formal agenda for the GST Council meeting is awaited, it is likely that it will review the process of implementing the 28% levy on online gaming, horse racing and casinos. Your report Business Today Television. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.